Hello, my roses. This is Budgeting Rose. And yes, that was me trying to wave to you guys with my right hand, but I can't right now. Anywho, let's get started. So I have missed you guys. Um, I've been going through a lot of health issues and so I'm a little bit better right now and I just, I needed to come back. So here I am. Okay, let's get started. So on today's Ro uh, Budgeting Rose video, I'm going to be discussing my 2021 goals. Wrote them down here. And you should note that I wrote this all down with my left hand. Okay, it looks like, okay, whatever. I wrote it with my left hand because my right hand right now cannot write. So bear with me. I'll be looking down because I'm reading my goals. So these are my January to December 2021 goals. So the first bunch are to do with my student loans. So I, uh, I said pay off Navient 1-05, that's about $3,000. Pay off the next Navient, which is 1-06, that's $6,554.83. Pay off the next one, which then, after paying off those two, I am totally paid off on my Navient student loans. Like, I cannot wait. And then that means I only owe one student loan company, which would then be Fed Loan. And I have 62,000 and change with them. So we're moving, we're moving here, progress. That's all we needed, I'm getting progress. I cannot wait to be done. So then I wanna pay off Fed Loan number six, which is $7,922.11 then pay off Fed loan number one, which is $9,312.43. Pay off Fed loan number two, which is $11,787.87. Um, then after that, I'll be left with two, two more Fed loan student loans, and then I'll be done. Um, so in 2021, I'm a runner. So let me right? Like I'm a runner. No, I don't, I don't run. First of all, um, hated running all my life, but in the last few months I've gone through a lot of health issues and I really had turned out, I had really bad sciatica on my legs and I wasn't able to walk for a period of time. So October, it just got worse. November got worse and now I've just gotten better. So I'm able to walk now. Um, I do limp a little, but I am getting better. Um, and all I'm dreaming now is I want to be able to run. So I'm going to run. I am a runner in 2021. I ride a bicycle. I don't usually ride a bicycle. I've ridden, I rode a bicycle like when I was a kid. Now I want to ride a bicycle because I, I haven't been able to do things. I jump rope. I used to jump rope as a kid. I'm going to be doing it. It's crazy, like, when you can't do things, the things you start thinking and wanting and dreaming to do. So that's my list now. Um. Oh, I have a clean house that is always guest ready. Yeah. I think that would be kind of cool to just have my house always ready. I don't have to run around <laughs> cleaning at the end of the week, I just, I'm always picking up and cleaning as I go. So I, I don't, I definitely want to do that for 2021. I am on a panel. So I don't know how that's going to happen, but I'm telling the universe, I want to be on a panel for something and the universe will let, let make it happen. Um, I will make two new friends. Yeah, so I don't have a lot of friends and I'm okay with that. But maybe 2021, I should branch out a little bit. And so I'm putting it out to the, to the universe that I will make two new friends. I will post more videos on YouTube. That's what we're going to do in 2021, post more videos on YouTube. I will edit my videos faster. 
if I have more videos to edit, I will edit them more. And then the more you do something, the faster I'll become at it. I will master how to cook four meals I love. So in my family right now, I don't, I don't cook. Thank God my mom or sister will cook or I order something I can just microwave. But you know what? It's time. I just want to make four meals, perfect them, master them, mwah, be the chef of them. Okay? Like if you talk about fettuccine, I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there. Fettuccine. You'll be like, oh, Rosie's fettuccine. Mwah. <laughs> just for myself. I'm not opening a restaurant or anything. And yeah, I just want to make four dishes, master them, cook them all the time. Boom. I'll never starve again. Um, I'll be all in to script reading pal. So my sister and I in 2021, we're starting a script reading business where people send us their script. We read them, give them feedback on it. They pay us. And so, yeah, there's an Instagram component we're doing. Um, so I'm, I'm doing basically the social media aspect for it. So I just want to make sure I'm all in and I'm ready to work. I will take 10,000 steps a day. So, like I said, with my sort of sciatica, walking has been super painful. Um, and then now I'm going back to walking just for life, like just to get to the bathroom, walking to go downstairs. Um, so, yeah, I dream of walking 10,000 steps now. That's That's my 2021 dream. I will write. So bullet journaling, um, brain dump thing. I've, I've, I've seen a bunch of videos of people doing that and I'm just like, oh my God, sounds amazing. I need to do it. I will write a movie script. So in 2020, we didn't finish our script, um, Miss Harper one. So I definitely want to, want us to continue that and to finish it. I will go on a monthly adventure. So I don't know if I'll be able to do that every month, but I want us to plan something and just do it. I will get Nexaplan. So Nexaplan is um, uh, a little little thing like this. Um, the gynecologist injects it into, not the shoulder, like uh, uh, in the upper arm. And it's for birth control. But for me, I'm using it to stop my periods. And it stays in for three years. So that'll be three years without painful periods. I am ready. And I did have it on in the past and it was amazing. I had the best three years of my life and then I took it off and I was like, oh, let me go on natural. I am always doubled up in pain every month for five, two more days. And I am tired and I want my pain-free life again. So I'm excited for that. Once I'm more healed, I will go to the doctor, the gynecologist, and request that. Well, guys, that's it for my 2021 goals. I hope you guys are having a wonderful December. Um, if you have health issues, it'll get better. Um, that's what I tell myself every day. It's just, it's going to get better. And it's definitely been hard. 2020 has been very hard. Um, right now, so I was like showing you guys my arm. I don't know what's causing it. I went to the... It's not broken or anything. I don't know what I did to make it happen, but my arm is swollen, my right arm. And um, I went to the orthopedic. They took x-rays, nothing. And now I went to see a rheumatologist and she's doing, she's running tests and stuff. And I'll get an MRI of my arm and wrist to see if she sees anything going on there. But, oh, and then I'm also working with um, a chiropractor for sciatica and a um, occupational therapist to help me start being able to do stuff like this with my right arm because grasping, doing all these things I can't right now. And, um, so it's mentally, it's a challenge to go and not be able to do things like I used to. Um, my family has been wonderful and super, super helpful, but because I've always been strong physically and the mentally like strong. It's, this is hard. 
It's been really hard. I cry a lot. Um, I feel guilty of like having my sister and mom to be my caregiver and yeah, just not being able to do a lot of the things I was able to do before, but I, I have to keep looking at where I've come from October till now. It's far. Like I, I could barely walk. Now I can walk. So I'm making progress and I will be better than new when I'm, when I'm fully back. So keep me in your prayers and I'll keep you guys in my prayers. And I'm glad I was able to make this video. I, I've been not feeling well and so I haven't made any videos and 2021 I'll be making more videos. So have a happy holiday, great new year, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Guys, this is Budgeting Rose saying bye and I'll see you guys soon. Bye my roses, bye!